tonight, Bitcoin faced a small rejection off of the ultimate 21 DMA. However, is Bitcoin currently in the middle of initiating a power blast move? And if this truly is a rebound, then the price trajectory over the next few days could be much higher than our wildest dreams. But don't let your G-strings get caught in your piggy bank just yet. And is this actually a very serious bull pattern that we must keep our eyes glued on? The breakout target is much more impressive than you could ever imagine. April showers bring golden showers, but is this new month about to bring much more than just sunshine and daffodils? Crack a cold one for me because this milk maker is about to get milked. Woo! Everyone, I'm your host, Sammy Sunshine, and on this channel, the only thing we like more than making money is making even more money. Absolutely very big. So we have a lot developing with Bitcoin's price today, and in fact, we have a few announcements as well. Uh, if you've been noticing, our our competitions on this channel temporarily slowed down, and that was for a fundamental reason. Guys, we've been doing these competitions on the channel for like uh, over 15 months, but uh, it turns out that it was very likely that many of the scammers that I was sending all of this crypto to, sending thousands of dollars worth of crypto to over many, many months, uh, it turns out a, at least a fair fraction of them were people that were actually impersonating the real winners, creating emails, creating fake YouTube accounts, copying them to a T. And there's only like one little way that I ended up finding this out after a long time. So basically, uh, I can't really do competitions like that anymore because it's just way too easily scammed. Uh, people way too easily get around the rules and create fraudulent entries. And so we're gonna be going into this competition starting today for April um, and how you can enter, but uh, I'm gonna save all of that kind of towards the end of the video. But as well, we're gonna be covering some absolutely massive Bitcoin developments and some absolutely massive altcoin price developments with a very interesting pattern, I believe, shaping up. No, 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 the breakout target is not tomorrow or the next day. It's a little bit further out, but the breakout target is very, very impressive. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, turn on those posts notifications and without any further uh, gooba let's dump in so if we start off here with the entire crypto market cap we're actually finally above the 21 moving average again for the first time in about a week but um yeah it only came after dipping well below the 21 day and going down to that 50 day but guys the big question everybody's wondering right now is will this 21 moving average on the daily chart be enough to give us that bounce that will absolutely explode us like the last time that it happened because or sorry that 50 day moving average down here this green line we've been on the 21 day moving average for the entire crypto cap many many times over the past few months but this is the very first time we've been to that 50 day moving average again since the middle of october 2020 so basically almost at half of a year ago so that means two things one the entire cryptocurrency market's been extremely bullish the fact that we barely ever visit the 50 daily moving average but two, it means that this is the uh, you know the lowest we've gone in terms of these moving averages in the past five months. So that gives us a little bit of confidence, or at least it should, that this gives the possibility that this could be a very strong bounce area. But again, this has yet to be seen. There are many things we want to look for kind of on the daily chart and even weekly before we make that assumption. But before we do that as well, even on the entire altcoin cap, so this is everything minus Bitcoin, uh, same exact thing here, you know, above that 21 day again, which is good. So again, bouncing on that 50 day though. And again, the last time the altcoin market cap did that was a little bit more recently. It was actually towards the end of December because altcoins were a little weaker back then and Bitcoin was a little bit stronger, which enabled it to not go down to its 50 day moving average back in December because Bitcoin was absolutely popping off. But um, yeah, other than that, this is a rare event that we come down to the 50-day moving average on these um, entire market cap charts. If we go to Bitcoin's weekly chart, we have roughly 24 hours. We have exactly 31 hours until we get a new weekly, weekly candle for Bitcoin. But uh, it's been kind of the same story for almost two months now. It's just getting rejected off of like 60K and floating above 40K. Uh, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weekly candles. And we're going to be opening up that eighth one in roughly, you know, 30 hours. So that's very interesting. Uh, on these shorter time frames, you know, being above the 21 and 50 on this one hour chart is the very minimum that we need to see for any bullish momentum. Then the four hour chart as well. This is big because we're actually above both of these 21 and 50 on the four hour chart. And right now we're fighting with this fib level that has us right around 56,000. US dollars. And if we can concretely break 56,000, get some nice closes there and really gain momentum, it's possible we could have that another retest of 60K. Really, that's the next thing everyone's waiting for is another shot at 60K. 
Uh, but we need to make sure we have enough juice to break it next time we go up to it. And as well, not only on the 1 and 4 hour, but also on the 6 hour, at this very moment, we're right at the cusp of our uh, 50 moving average here as well. So uh, we're also above the 21, but uh, getting above this 50 moving average is absolutely critical. Next big level, again, guys, we need to be watching for that 60K as the next big breakup. But 56 is huge, and that's what we talked about yesterday. And that's just simply because that's where the 21-day moving average is, which is just uh, absolutely critical here. Last night, we actually we actually opened up this daily candle, getting rejected off of 55.5 exactly almost. Um, and yeah, if we actually just go to, let's go to a one-hour chart so you can see. You can see right up here, we had this candle come up to 55,660. 55, but it only wicked there. It basically topped out around 55,200 exactly. Got rejected uh, for like 12 hours here, but then bounced right at about 54,000. And ever since, we've had that nice bounce to about 56, which is where we currently are. So again, as I've been saying for the past few days, I really, really, really want to flip bullish. What absolutely needs to happen for anything to be bullish, in my opinion, is flipping above this 21 day, at which point, uh, I think it's okay to then start, you know, getting a little excited about this move. But until we actually flip that, which we're literally in the middle of doing right now, um, that would be amazing. So ultimately, closing anywhere above 56,000 this weekend is what we need to do. Uh, but also keep in mind, you know, are we going to be opening up a CME gap uh, because pumping on the weekends potentially? I mean, always. That's always the case. Uh, luckily, I mean, this gap isn't very substantial right now anyway, if this is where we would close out. But so far, the main thing we want to look for is just that we have gotten a bounce at the 50-day moving average. Is it because of the options expiry? Who knows? Is it because it's, uh, you know, right at the 50-day moving average? That's what I think is the most likely just because, I mean, moving averages are just so, so, so important. The 21 and the 50 day moving averages over the last six months have been absolutely critical when looking at these charts. Guys, it's absolutely insane. If you, you know, looking at these charts is never going to tell you exactly what the price is going to be in a week from now, a month from now, you know, a year from now. That's not the point. It just gives us an idea of where the momentum is going which way Bitcoin is most likely to be heading over, you know, the following weeks or so. And this is the very, very, very beginning of a potential reversal. And like I said, it's still too early to tell. So I'm not, I'm not flipped incredibly bullish yet. But if we can get a few days of continued price action, uh, you know, remaining bullish here, then I would say that it's very, very likely that we could be heading into a more bullish trajectory. And guys, big thing here as well, the number two altcoin, which has just been absolutely performing abysmally, Ethereum, is within, uh, as far as I can tell, over a month-long pattern so far, potentially, you know, symmetrical triangle, but we just recently got that bounce at the bottom of the symmetrical triangle. Uh, as Bitcoin bounced at the 50-day moving average, Ethereum bounced uh, at its respective level. But as you can see on the daily chart, Ethereum is drastically below its 50-day and 21-day. Uh, both of those are above 1,700. And, um, or, you know, that's actually where, where Ethereum is at this very moment, like right underneath the 50 day, but it was all the way down. I mean, it went to like 1550. It went, it went pretty, pretty low. Uh, Ethereum's obviously been looking maybe the worst out of all of these top alts, definitely worse than Bitcoin, definitely worse than, you know, all the other top alts for the most part, most of them bounced on their 50 days, um, or even some on their 21 days and Ethereum has been below, or it was below its 50 day for almost an entire week. But this breakout pattern, uh, the target of this is actually around 2,600 US dollars for for, an, for Ethereum. But again, uh, actually when I would be looking to see this breakout would be like the first, maybe even like the second week of April. Uh, so it's not, it's not necessarily very close, but I mean, there's still plenty of time. I think that this would actually trade in here. It is, I think it is kind of likely that we could see it like the first week of April, but I think more likely maybe the second week. Uh, but again, I mean, this is just so far a very nice, pattern we have highs uh lows lower highs and higher lows and um yeah so far it's just shaping up to be a very pretty uh symmetrical triangle and um with ethereum's price action being so bad um, i don't think that it's likely that we'll continue to see lower lows here um because it's already been performing really really poorly wow so as well guys i'm actually going to go into more detail about this giveaway so again as i stated this is actually a much better way to do giveaways as we can weed out people trying to fake other people or steal other people's winnings, right? We pick a winner, and then if somebody just creates a fake account and steals from that winner, I mean, that shouldn't that shouldn't be allowed to happen. And um, silly me, I've probably been giving away thousands of dollars to people that don't deserve it because they're not actually the real winners. So it sucks for me, it sucks for the people who should have won, and so that's why we're doing this. And actually by doing this, 
uh, people that visit the channel more often, people that actually like the content, they are more likely to win because there's ways, you know, if you visit every single day, you can get more entries. So again, this is just a much, this is a perfect way to do these competitions because uh, again, fake people can't steal your winnings and people that actually like this channel, people that actually come back, the ones that deserve to get my money are the ones that are more likely to get my money, right? So uh, the people that are just more faithful to the channel, they're the ones that deserve to win more so than people that uh, just come here to boost my engagement and give me a couple dislikes right away. So yeah, I mean, you, you do these very basic things, just visiting the channel gives you three, uh, following on Twitter gives one, and then you can actually just even click here once per day and get an extra entry once per day, once per day. But then when you complete these, you actually can unlock up to 24 more entries um, in those ways as well. So once you complete these, you can actually unlock even more entries. And basically just by visiting the channel every day, by being a subscriber, you're more likely to, I mean, you will get more entries if you visit the channel every day. And this month we're going to be, uh, and in this month we're going to be picking five winners for uh, Ethereum. So that's what this April competition is. I actually might even just add another a competition at some point during April, maybe halfway through or something. So maybe you have two competitions going. Um, I mean, I just started this, this is the very first day. So you wanna start early because the earlier you start, the more likely it is you can unlock some of these other ways to get entries. But yeah, I still need to get used to this website because it's the first time I've been using it. But I see other people use it and it's, you know, it's just a much better way to do competitions. Like I said, I've been doing these competitions forever and um, I I'm scamming myself. I've been giving money to people that don't deserve it because they're not actually the winners. <laughs> it's just been uh, it's been very silly for me and it's been very unfortunate for the people that do deserve to win so this is just a much better way of going about that as well guys if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that like subscribe turn on those post notifications and as well if you're interested in trading make sure to sign up with our bybit and femex deposit bonuses below uh without any further ado that's it for me bye bye